So we ran into this problem the other day where we had something happening differently from the right hand side as we did from the left hand side. So for example, if we're coming at this function to x equals 3 from the right hand side, it's looking like this. It looks like it's headed towards that x, y equals 2. But then from the other side, it looks like it's headed to something different, to y equals negative 3. So this is a problem because as a limit, it has to be hitting this, going to the same place from the both sides. But we can get around this by establishing something called left-hand and right-hand limits, or one-sided limits. Okay. So when we look at these graphs, then, we can take a look at these and say, well, what's happening from one side only? Okay. So when we say the limit as x goes to 0, and this negative means it's coming from the negative side of the graph. Okay. It means that it's coming this way. So I'm just going to do this. That negative, it doesn't mean negative 0. It means 0 from the negative side. It means it is approaching 0 from this side. Okay. So when I look at that graph, I'm approaching 0 from this side. Okay. It looks like it's headed towards y equals 3.5. Okay. And again, we just a reminder, limits doesn't matter where what's actually happening there. Although the value is actually 5, the limit as we go to that point looks like it's negative or positive 3.5. The other one here, if I take a look at 0 with a plus here, doesn't mean positive 0. It means I'm approaching 0 from this direction. Okay, that sign on this side tells you the direction you're approaching 0 from. So I'm going to be approaching 0 from this direction. Okay, so when I approach 0 from the right hand side, going to the left, it's heading towards the value of y equals 5. Okay, so that's where it looks like it's headed. So these Pauses and negatives to the on the right hand side indicate the direction. Okay, so taking a look at this one here, that negative, this is negative two. So negative two is is this value right here. This negative doesn't mean negative two. It means I'm approaching negative two in this direction. So I'm approaching negative two in this direction. What's happening to the graph? Well. That graph is headed towards negative infinity. Okay. Now, if you say that this is d and e, okay, that's actually okay because infinity technically doesn't exist. Okay, but most universities, especially Canadian universities, will expect you to establish this as negative infinity, as opposed to as a limit that doesn't actually exist because it is they're heading in the wrong directions. Okay, so this last one here is x is going to negative 2. So the same value here is going to this negative 2 value. This positive means it's coming from, it tells you the direction it's headed to negative 2 from. Okay, so it's headed from this direction. So as we look at what's happening as they're heading to negative 2 from the right-hand side in this direction, it's headed to positive infinity. Okay. So these limits actually don't exist. The limit at zero doesn't exist as a two-sided limit, but they do exist as one-sided limits coming from the right side or the left side. Same with the limit, this, this vertical asymptote. It doesn't exist from both sides because they're heading in the wrong directions, but from one side it's heading to positive infinity, the other side is headed towards negative infinity. Okay, so this is how we can get away from that idea of, you know, heading to the wrong spot, so heading to different spots from the right and left hand sides. So let's take a look at these ones here. Okay, so as log as log x over x minus 3 heads to 3, okay, if it were to head to 3, we have a bit of a problem because from one side of 3, it's approaching 0 from the negative side. So let's say it it's 2, 2.9, 2.99. This denominator is negative. So it's heading to 3 from the negative side. So it's approaching 0 from the negative side. 
if I approach 3 from the positive side, like 4 minus 3 is 1, 3.1 minus 3 is positive 0.1, it's approaching 0 from the positive side of 0. Okay, so we're dividing by positive 0. So those are going to give us different results. Okay, so we have to then be considered what's happening. Well, this is the limit, and I maybe I'll write that up here. The limit as x approaches 3 of log x over x minus 3, we say it does not exist. Okay, because the graph of that, as we approach 3 from the positive side, it's going to go like this, and from the negative side, it's going to go like this. Okay, so we have this issue where we cannot define it from we cannot define it from one side versus the other. Okay, because they're going they're doing two different things from the left side and from the right side. So we can ha we have to deal with these as a one-sided limit. So as x approaches three from the negative side, what's happening? Well, this is going to be log three over zero, but it's going to be getting zero from the negative side. So we're going to be dividing by negative zero. Well, this is going to give us negative infinity. Okay, so this is what's happening here. It's going to head down to zero, or down to negative infinity. Now, contrast this with what's happening if I approach it from the other side. Okay, so I get log three over zero, 3 minus 3 is 0, but I'm approaching 3 from the positive side, so I end up with positive 0. Well, if I'm dividing by positive 0, I'm going to get positive infinity, and that's what's happening over here. Okay, so it makes a difference, especially when we're going to 0 the denominator, it makes a difference which side of 0 we're approaching from, because from one side, it's going to be negative. Negative 0 is going to give us negative infinity. Dividing by positive 0 is going to give us positive infinity. So there, we have to be considerate of this now. So this is going to become an issue. We have to start looking out for something like this. So we're going to graph just to make sure that we can see that these things, the, what this graph actually looks like.